Hey, what's up guys? Figured I'd make a quick video. I just picked up this Elite E2 catch can. Wanted to make a quick video on how to install this on a fifth generation Camaro ZL1. Um, this is the single outlet can. You can opt for a dual outlet. Uh, I figured for as much as I drive the car, I don't drive it too hard very often, so it's not like I'm taking it to the racetrack every week. So I figured a single outlet would work perfectly fine for my application. Um, so. Yeah, if you have a 2012 through 2015 ZL1, stay tuned because this is how you install it. So to start off, um, Elite gives you this uh, nice bracket here. Uh, this end attaches to the radiator mount and these two holes here attach to the actual can itself. Um, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this end of the can and then we'll head down to the garage and mount it up to the car. All right, so this is what it looks like with it mounted onto the can. Like I said before, this end will be mounted up to where there's a radiator bolt uh, in the engine bay, which I'll show in a minute here. Um, so I think we're ready to head down to the car and mount this thing up. All right, so now that we're down at the car here, there is a 10 millimeter bolt um, attached to the radiator mount that we're gonna use to attach the catch can to the car. Um, Gonna go ahead and attach the can where the bolt just came out. Yeah, now that this is attached to the car, we're ready to hook up the hoses and uh, move on to the next step. All right, so now that the uh, can is attached, I'm gonna try to explain this uh, in a pretty simple way here uh, as to how this works. So your PCV system has an outlet and an inlet port on the engine, which I'll show in a second. Um, so basically the outlet port on the engine is going to run to the inlet port on the can, which is this middle taller port here. And the outlet port on the can is going to run to the inlet port on the engine. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see this, um, but there is a bottom outlet port and a top inlet port on the engine there. And basically, it's just a plastic hose that's kind of looping into each other right now. Um, I'll try to point it out a little better here. It's definitely hard to get to, um, but this bottom port is the outlet port, which goes into the inlet of the can and this top port is the inlet port on the engine which connects to the outlet port on the can. So you want to remove this hose and basically there's just a small plastic clip you have to move and you'll be able to pull them uh, out of both ports. Okay so next what you're going to want to do um, is, is attach the hose to the ports and get a measurement to cut off um, the hose here so we can attach it to the can. So right now I'm going to attach the hose to the outlet port on the engine uh, so I can measure it to the inlet port on the can. So I'm going to just slide it on to the outlet port. I have it going through here. Um, and I opted for the braided black lines. They have plenty of different options on their website. So uh, I like it better than the just plain black rubber hose that they have. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this on. So I managed to slide the hose on to the bottom port there on the engine. Um, took a little bit, had to use a long pair of needle nose pliers to help guide it on. Um, but now I can see where to cut the hose. So I'm probably going to cut it somewhere in the middle of the uh, port here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that and then I'll show you guys how to attach it to the can. So now that we have the hose cut, I took it back off. Um, and you're, what you're going to do is unscrew the port here. And these hoses are really hard to get into these ports. Uh, Elite recommends soaking them in hot water for a few minutes, so that's what I'm doing here. And as soon as that's ready to go on, 
uh, we'll put it into this adapter here. Okay, so this hose has been sitting here for a few minutes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put it into the fitting here. I'm gonna shake off the excess water. Just gonna keep pushing it on until you get to the base of the threads. All right, so we got it on here. Um, don't know if you can see that, but it's sitting right at the base of the threads. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it back onto the catch can. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and tighten this onto the can. Now that that's tightened on there, we're going to go ahead and put a one of the supplied clamps on the other end of the hose. And once the clamp is on, we're going to go ahead and slide it over the bottom port on the engine. Alright, so in the process of putting the clamp onto the hose there. I had to remove the belt in order to get the uh, pliers in there to squeeze the clamp to fit it over the port. So to do that I just attached my uh, breaker bar to the tensioner um, and you just give it a pull to the left. There's an arrow on there saying rotate it that way and once you do that I just pulled the belt off the uh, idler pulley here and I was able to get my pliers in there to um, get the clamp over top of the port. And now that the inlet port on the can is hooked up, we're going to go ahead and do the outlet port on the can. So I'm going to go ahead and attach hose to the outlet port on the engine and line it up to the port here and cut it. Alright, so I have it attached to the engine. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like a little barb on the uh, inlet port on the engine there. You don't have to go over that barb, just go up to it. Um, that's where you're going to place the clamp once you cut the hose. So now that we have it attached to the engine, I'm going to go ahead and line it up with the outlet port on the can and give it a little bit of slack and cut it about halfway through the adapter there. And now that the hose is cut, I'm going to go ahead and take it back off and uh, let that end going into the can sit in some hot water again so it's easy to put on. And then you can go ahead and unscrew the fitting from the can. Alright, so now that the hose was sitting in some hot water for a while, I'm going to go ahead and shake off the excess and go ahead and insert it into the adapter for the can. Again, pushing it in until you get to the base of the threads. There we have it. And now we're good to attach it to the can, similar to the other hose. And similar to the other hose, um, we're going to go ahead and place a clamp on here. And since this is the outlet, port on the can we're gonna go to the upper port on the engine which is the inlet port so okay so we got the clamp onto the hose gonna go ahead and slide the hose onto the port on the engine all right guys so I got the hose clamp um, attached to the upper hose there uh, both hoses are attached to the can so that about does it for the install. I uh, hope, hope it helped you guys out a little bit. Um, being honest, I'm not too impressed with these hose clamps. They're pretty, they're not that tight. I can still move them around a little bit, so I might go to the store and upgrade those. That might be a good idea for anyone installing this catch can. Um, other than that, the install was pretty straightforward. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. 
and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. One final note, guys, before I end the video, I did go to the store. Uh, I went to AutoZone, got some better hose clamps that actually hold the hoses down, which is their primary job. The ones that came with the catch cam were pretty bad, not gonna lie. I went to AutoZone, picked these up for like three bucks. Uh, you can actually screw, you can tighten them with the screwdriver. It's a lot better, so I recommend doing that.